I'm Adriana Malello, your favorite pseudo reporter, and we're here on this beautiful day in Denver, Colorado, celebrating Cinco de Mayo. What better way to celebrate this awesome holiday on this beautiful day than the 7th annual Chihuahua race? Now, behind me, as you can see, they're preparing for their epic journey down the racetrack. While they're warming up, we're going to talk to a bunch of the owners and the Chihuahuas and see what they're doing to prepare for this epic race. So have you been training hard? Yes, very hard. How many? Weeks, about three or four weeks. But now, is there any way you're going to get her to come to you? Whistle. That's how I get her to come inside the house. Hi, Pepito. Is he racing today or just watching? He's going to race. We don't know if he will run, but he loves my friend to death, so hopefully he'll run to her. And what have you been doing to train? Um, we took a bath this morning, making her lighter. We bought a costume as motivation. I have a matching shirt or a themed shirt for motivation. This is Bugsy. He's not racing because he's 16, but he has a friend who's racing and he's eight. He seems to be half sleeping. Holy yeah. pet. Oh, he, she does. She does. How do you train? How do you do, go about that? Chase a tennis ball. Oh yeah. And it's been going well. Oh, he's real fast. But now kind he's of, excited he's seeing so all these excited. other dogs now. So. Yeah. So it's now it's like this whole other problem, right? You know what I really like about this race is that all of the Chihuahuas who aren't racing are here to support their friends. You guys been training a lot? Nope. <laughs> so have you been training hard for the race? How? What have you been doing? Uh, we're, we're running over all the far and this is the target for this. Now nah, they're just getting ready. Papito looks so chill. Oh, I know. He's a relaxed one. Yeah. So let's see if he runs. Oh my god, he's so cute. Adios, Mingo. He's so cute. Oh my god. Well, I love it. All the elders to come, come support the youngins, you know? Civic Center Park in Denver for the 8th Annual Chihuahua Races. There you go, wave. Yeah. We're getting ready for one of the races. Oh, this is going to be a tight race, I think. They look very focused, very focused. Now, it's tricky because the owner has to hold them. The dogs can't just wander around. But the dogs are really excited because they want to get to their other person, you know? So Slim is like the start judge. We have other judges down to end. My name's Alejandro. I'm the referee today for Jammin' 101.5's Chihuahua Races. And how did you become the referee? Oh, you know, lots of hard work and dedication. It's not, it's not easy being a Chihuahua uh, referee just because they're so quick. Everyone is so excited. The Chihuahuas seem really confused, but they're also having a great time, so I don't think that matters. All right, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, 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 no, 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 that way. I have, I have no idea who won, I have no idea. I, someone, oh shit, someone mistakes me for fun. Oh man, well, wow, it's just, it's just so fast. In the blink of an eye, the heat is just going, you know? All right. an amazing afternoon. I had so much fun celebrating Cinco de Mayo here in Denver at the Chihuahua races. Sadly, we uh, took a little bit longer on our Cerveza break and we missed the winner, but congratulations to them and I hope you had a great time watching this. So until next time, adios amigos. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs>